Well, my name is Terrence Jordan. I'm the principal at Blackhawk Elementary School here in Springfield, Illinois. Being from the South, you know, one of um, one of the most important things I hear my parents and my uh, uncles and aunts talk about it. School was important, but it wasn't as important as working. And, uh, my family, my grandfather was a sharecropper in Mississippi, and so certain times of the year school was not an option for my mother and father and they would look at my family and say think that we were wrong in the way that my grandparents were raising their kids and that can be translated to today society too we develop our um, perception of what people should and shouldn't do based on our own experiences sometimes we need to step outside the box and go through some of the experiences that other people are living every day have you ever been surprised by a student or a family that looked rough on the outside, but after you got to know them, found out their story had a lot of great depth to it? My social worker went visiting, made a home visit um, a couple of weeks ago to a parent that she thought, you know, was, you know, we have these preconceived ideas about how people should be. Um, and once she got there, she realized that this, this lady was one of the pillars of the community. She was sitting out on the porch, people were coming up talking to her, they had these wonderful relationships, uh, people waving as they went by, and, and it's easy for people to have an um, ideal of what a person should be, but we uh, have to realize that we base that on our experiences and what our upbrings as opposed to uh, what they have experienced and, and the way that they were raised and their beliefs. You know. All of us have different beliefs. All of us have in aspects of how to raise families, uh, what's important to the family, and it's, it's very important for us to realize that before we make judgments on other people. Get to know them first. How do you even combat the idea of teacher's pet or favoritism within the school? Naturally, people are going to have their favorites. You know, as a principal, I have my favorite students, but the key to, to, to combating that is to make sure that you're fair with everyone and you treat everyone the same. Um, my favorites come because I have certain students that work extremely hard, but I'm not going to treat them any different than that student that's maybe a behavior issue. I think you gain a lot of respect from parents and even people in this community if they feel like you're being fair. I think that when we're dealing with um, Families that have um, economic issues, they don't feel like the system is fair. They don't feel like the neighborhood treats them fair. But if you are fair and caring and loving to everyone, favoritism is not really an issue. And last, speaking to our church community, how would you inspire or challenge them to love without prejudice? Come into the school. We welcome you. Try to make a difference. It's one thing, you know, I'm I'm into sports. That sideline coach or that, or that backseat driver that just sit back and say, oh, the kids are messing up the neighborhood or they're sitting back um, um, complaining about things that are happening. Be a difference. You know, if the kids are out in the streets, give them something to do. Open your doors, come out, help out, support. Come be a, um, a mentor at a school. Come volunteer. Let's come together and come up with a solution instead of just sitting back complaining that there's a problem.